this is Gus G and you're watching Guitar Gear Guy. Thank you for tuning in. Hello everyone, how are you? This is yours truly, Triple G, coming at you once again. Today I don't have a whole lot of time, so we will just be doing a quick unboxing. Then I'll give this a, uh, put it through its pace and come back to you with a gear chat the way I would normally do. So without further hesitation, let's go ahead and um, get this thing open. I did uh, get it out of its original outer cardboard box that Sweetwater shipped it with. So, and those of you who you know, if you order from Sweetwater, what they do is they take a uh, like a glamour shot of the guitar before they ship so this guitar was opened by someone before which at uh, Sweetwater Photographer and they do the 55 point inspection so to make sure you know the guitar it doesn't have a uh, massive janky flaw somewhere so we shall see how the guitar looks once I get it out of the box let me uh, maneuver. By the way, the guitar did not come with a hard case nor a gig bag. At a price range, anytime guitar costs more than 1000 I believe it should at least come with a gig bag. And right around 1800 I think, should be where they include you a some kind of a, you know, a uh, little denser shell case. However, uh, not, nothing came with this guitar, so again, I complain. I really shouldn't. Buy less, practice more, kids. Do as I say, not as I do. Now, let's see if the camera will pick this up. You recognize that? I've been threatening to get this guitar for a while now. Just look at that headstock, kids. Look at that. Does that look deadly or what? So if you look, the raw wood grain is very visible in the headstock. Okay, so by now have you figured out what guitar this is? If you've been watching my videos, you would have identified what this guitar is because I've been threatening to get this for a while now. And uh, unapologetically, I've said multiple times on my channel, I am a explorer whore that said there has been one guitar, one explorer that's been evading me for a while and that is Jackson Kelly. And here's Jackson. There you go, see, my face needs to be hidden so that camera focuses on the guitar, not my face. Traditional shark fin inlay. By the way, why did Ibanez and Jackson move away from the, uh, the shark fin and the uh, sawtooth inlays? Because those are awesome. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. So that is Jackson Kelly, Jeff Loomis. You see the uh, wood grain on the top. Binding looks to be satin finish in the, on the back and the side. Um, I see some beveling happening here. I mean, I've seen this guitar. I've seen it at uh, the NAMM show. The active pickups powered by this nine volt that's in here. Jeff Loomis' signature Seymour Duncan pickups. Floyd Rose. Let me just try to get you the full shot, baby. Look at that. Next to my Snakebite and um, Gibson Thunder Horse, this may be, again, one of my favorite explorers. Oh. Speaking of a guitar that I'm never gonna sell, look, look at, just look at it. Just deadly. The back of the neck, satin. Get you some more close up. 
Again, I don't uh, have a time to actually even plug it in this morning. I'm on a somewhat of a tight schedule and my day job is keeping me busy. So I need to get the hell out of here. But I will mess with this for the next uh, couple of days, several days, couple of weeks and come back with you with a uh, gear chat video. Just really well executed, I'm telling you. What a nice guitar. Made in Korea, it says. So that's a quality. That's a surprising. I thought it was going to be Indonesia built, but hey, even better. It's from my home country. Just look at it. Oh, I don't even know what to say, guys. Just look at that guitar. Woo! All right, so that's it for the uh, unboxing edition of today. I promise I will be back. Uh, to give you the lowdown on this guitar and I, I know I've been gone for a bit um, but hopefully again you know it's the day job hopefully I'll come back to you more often all right see you guys soon until next time you guys all take care be good humans I've been Triple G you've been awesome